King Knight stars Matthew Gray Bubler and Angela Serafin as Thorn and Willow, who appear to have it all as the revered high priest and priestess of a coven of New Age witches. But a secret from Thorn's past throws their lives into turmoil and sends them on a trippy, hilarious journey. This is written and directed by Richard Bates Jr., and I walked into this one pretty blind, as all I knew beforehand was that it's a horror comedy about a coven that starred the guy from Criminal Minds. However, upon seeing it, this film isn't exactly what it sells itself as. While marketed as a horror comedy, I'd say this is actually mostly a comedy, with not much horror beyond the fact that it revolves around a coven of witches. There's some surrealist imagery in there as Thorne begins to confront his past, but this film isn't particularly scary, or even looking to scare you. There's essentially one big joke to the film. Thorne gets an email about his high school reunion, which Willow sees, and it's soon discovered that he actually used to be a preppy jock who was as mainstream as you can get. And for much of the film, centered around the coven, it's basically characters reacting in disgust or acting horrified as they discover how normal Thorne used to be, and they ponder what the future of their coven will be. So a lot of the film will essentially be it finding as many ways as possible to milk that joke in as creative of a way as possible, and I'd say it works just enough. There are quite a few clever exchanges, with my absolute favorite being when Willow initially confronts Thorn. However, not every attempt at humor lands all that well. There are times it can feel a bit too crude and mean-spirited, and the way that the characters make quips and take shots at one another doesn't always come off like fun, witty banter. Some of it just feels uncalled for, with a few jokes being a bit cringeworthy. But when it works, it is fun, especially thanks to some charismatic performances by Goobler and Seraphin. And there's actually a pretty interesting supporting cast, which includes Andy Milanakis as one of the Coven members, Barbara Crampton as Thorne's overbearing mother, and Ray Wise, who appears to Thorne in Visions. Speaking of, there is a part of the film where Thorne's off on his own as part of a soul-searching journey, which involves, as I said earlier, some pretty surrealist imagery, and also sees him getting advice from a talking rock, as well as a talking pinecone, the latter of which is voiced by Aubrey Plaza in a fun cameo. And then things eventually culminate at the reunion, where we get some more fun banter between this coven leader and the quote-unquote normies he was once close with. Again, a lot of it revolves around the same joke, and it doesn't always work, but there are times it does, so it's still fine enough for what it is. I think this would have especially benefited from cranking up the absurdity so that it reached parody level, with the aforementioned initial confrontation being the best example of the tone it should have taken overall. What's interesting is that everyone had the personality of a cartoon character, but most of the conversations tried going for somewhat grounded, pan banter, which made its tone feel inconsistent, and I think if the film committed to its caricature-like characters, it would have been hilarious. But for what it is, King Knight is a decent enough time, even if not always the most consistent. While its horror elements are scarce, and its attempts at comedy definitely fall flat at times, it does find some clever enough ways to take its one joke and make it run well enough for an 80-minute movie. While there was clear potential for more, the final result is fun enough. King Knight gets a 6.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see King Knight, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did the comedic elements work for you? Did the surrealist nature work for you? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.